already. Ladies and gentlemen, young men and women, girls and boys, this is a recap of composing in full media part 19 new events. In today's episode, we set out to work more with the recorder hops from our last stream and start selecting the favorite ones to put them into a work area. If you recall, we had this as our recorder hops. And we had said, hmm, that sounds pretty discordant. But if we use every other one, and here we call them the odd hops, it sounded pretty good. And then, Equivalently, instead of using the first and the uh, the first and the third, we could use the second and the fourth, like this. So we ended up calling the first and the third the odds, which is here, odds, and the th second and the fourth the evens. Then. We started kind of playing it around and saying, what does this sound like? And we realized, hey, we could start copying out those intervals and, and make a pretty decent sounding recorder duet. So that is what we did. And so far, we have worked our way through basically the dark minor scale, the hop one figures. And we went through and we did that thing we just showed you. And then we went through and said, well, what interval is that? Well, that's a, that's a D6. Well, we know that an interval of six is always a clash type of energy. In this case, it's an ambivalent. Uh, mode, the, the mode and the urge are in the same interval. And here we have a, a root and the urge, which is also clash. Here we have a neutral note and a, a float note, and that's a subdominant energy. And then here we have the root and a neutral, and that gives us a rest energy. So we're actually getting kind of neat intervals, uh, energy stories out of this. The other thing that we double checked is that we said, okay, are we fully done with the hop one? We looked at all the places where we had two notes playing at the same time in a hop one configuration, and did we catch all the intervals? And the answer, yes, we did. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close out playing the three figures we've come up with so far for a recorder duet, and then take us home. So here we go. So you can hear how that could be put together into kind of a pleasing overall structured melody. And when we get further down in these hop figures, bing, well, maybe not in the minor major, but in the ones with more notes in the scale, we'll, we'll get actually get into chords where three notes are playing at once, like down here, like this thing. Num, dum, da, dum. Num, dum, da, dum. And those would, well, those would be actually tetrachords in that case. So that ends today's stream. Thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>